Hi, this is Ed LaFlam, head harvester from the East Coast, and we're here today with Jared Rice from Wildematic and, and Bruce Moore Jr. from Eastern Land Management. Awesome. We're talking about innovative product, products. You know, the harvesters love to point out innovative products to you, ways you can make more money, save money, and just generally be more loyal and friendly to your customer. So maybe you could start off with Weathermatic's, uh, what it is, Jared. Yeah, it sounds great. So Weathermatic, so what we are is we have actually a hardware, software, and then a, a consulting company all rolled into one around irrigation, the, the, your irrigation division, helping mm -hmm. landscape professionals build out that piece of their business. And so what we've done is we've kind of thought through what, what does it take to run a landscape uh, irrigation division? And we've boiled it down to three things, right? Is we've got to make program changes. We have to do inspections and proposals, and then also have to do the repairs after, you know, after approval. And so how do we do those three things efficiently, effectively, and how do we help other people do that the, the best way possible? Yep. I see. That's great. So this was all, I know you, you created this whole program for the landscaper and the irrigation professional so that their customers would be happier. So now you've been using the, the system for a while in your sure. commercial landscape department. Right. You've created a separate profit center there. Yeah. How, how have you used Weathermatic? Has it gotten you, is it a way to, to bring more customers into your company and keep them or how are you, have you used it? Yeah, so what we'll do is any of our new maintenance clients, um, you know, we will add the controllers to the properties. So that allows us to gain full control and access to regulate the, the programs as well as provides an upgrade and, and added value to the client on their property by having a smart controller uh, on their irrigation system. So uh, we're using it as a competitive advantage, not only for new uh, clients as well as existing clients is more added value. Uh, so that must really, that creates loyalty, I'm sure. Have they been able to save money? That's that's what it's always about. Absolutely. Uh, in the Northeast, it's a little different. Obviously, we've got a shorter season and a little bit more rainfall than other parts of the country, but uh, we see an average of about 38% of water savings um, on an annual basis. Wow. Have you yeah. found that to be the case too? Yes. Uh, so 38% is probably right in the middle of uh, different markets you get a little bit more, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so if you broke that down into dollars, if you had a $100,000 landscape contract, let's say, okay, on a building, how much are they spending on water on average? So we typically see uh, that particular size customer probably spends about $50,000 a year on water. And so we're using, you know, the Bruce, mm -hmm. Bruce's number here, 38%, that's a, you know, roughly uh, $19,000 in savings for, for his customer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do they do with that money, Bruce? <laughs> huh? We hope they reinvest in their landscape. <laughs> oh, hopefully and in what, landscape enhancements? Landscape enhancements, property upgrades, and even irrigation improvements Okay. As well, yeah. That's really awesome. And, and um, uh, what about efficiency? Have, have you found efficiency? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So with the SmartLink program, uh, our irrigation technicians are equipped with iPads. Um, so while they're out in the field, they're able to gain access to any of our 200 controllers that we're managing. Um, if a client calls or one of our uh, super job supervisors calls and says, you know, hey, we need to adjust this program, they can just get right on their iPad, make the adjustments needed, turn on the system, turn off the system, um, you know, right at the click of a button. And, and they don't have to be physically on the job site. Now, one of the things that uh, Jared just mentioned, repairs. How, how do you handle repairs in the field? So uh, SmartLink has a unique uh, inspection tool, which again, like I said, our technicians are equipped with iPads. So um, they're able to run through the system uh, remotely, um, identify any issues as they go through the zones, photograph the issues, document, you know, take notes on that, and then we're able to send that to the customer along with a proposal to make those repairs, you know, hopefully right there on the spot. Yeah, yeah, because they could get right back to the technician. They could fix it right there. Right. Well, that's right. incredible. Yeah. That 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 must really uh, jump the numbers on your on your growth on your gross margin on your profits. Absolutely. Yeah. What yeah. about over? Uh, we, we see over fifty percent gross margin. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Most are much much lower. I can see having the uh, weathermatic is going to really help in that sure. respect. Sure. Now the last piece is the customer service piece. I know some of the folks out there may be saying, "Oh no, if I bring weathermatic on, you know, we have to learn a whole new system, and how are we going to do that? How good is the support and all that?" What's your experience? So I, I think um, 
we have, you know, Jared uh, at our fingertips, right, <laughs> a lot of times, but they also have a support division that um, our division manager or our technicians can reach out to via email or phone to troubleshoot any issues, as well as, you know, they provide um, coaching to our account managers who are client-facing, so they're able to be uh, up to speed on the programs that we're using and, and how we're implementing it on their properties, uh, as well as with our sales teams, so uh, they're up to speed with, you know, how to present uh, this program to our, our potential prospective clients. Wow, so if you have a problem, a specific problem, you could contact one of the, either uh, Jerry or one of the folks if they have it fixed. And I, I love the idea of having a big group team uh, educational center, uh, session with, with WeatherMatic. That's, right. I don't know too many companies doing that. I don't care what they're doing, they right. don't do that. So that, that's innovative too. I think it's it's quite a product, quite a product. And, I, and I, Bruce, I have to say before I leave, I, I love the website. Well, thank uh, you. Folks, if you want to see a great website, go to ELM and Stanford. Uh, they, they have really done a fantastic job. And they talk about, on their service section under weather, they talk about the, the, the partnership between Weathermatic and themselves, and they, they give it more detail. And if you want to learn even more, just press the button on, on uh, was that, learn, learn more? more. Yeah. Yep, click that, and boom, it opens up and really explains it. So fantastic, fantastic job. Thank, thank you, you thank so you. much both of you for being with me and uh, helping our viewers to understand more about Weathermatic and how they could they could save money and make more money and have more loyal customers. It's been great. Yeah, yeah thanks for having us. There you have it. Ed Laflamme, head harvester from the East Coast, saying see you next time.